Go ahead and tell me a little bit about uh, what's going on with your finger. You say you have some swelling going on in this finger right here. Is that right? And um, how long has that been like that? Uh, like three or four days. Three or four days. And does it hurt when you move, bend your finger? Yes, sir. All right. So Dr. Sleese is going to demonstrate the uh, physical examination findings of uh, flexor tenosynovitis. All right. So you can see the patient has... Uh, Fusiform swelling of the digit, especially from the PIP proximally, but also uh, the mid portion of the finger appears to be swollen, somewhat red, um, and hyperemic. Uh, that's the sausage type swelling uh, that you find in flexor tenosynovitis. Also, one of the earlier signs is if you, on passive extension, it, does that hurt? Yes, sir. Okay, and so we have some pain on passive extension of uh, the digit. Uh, also, pain on percussion along the flexor tendon. Is that tender right there? Mm hmm. You, know, you can have localized so all, tenderness all up and, right there. All up and down your finger, it hurts? Yeah. Along the flexor tendon, there's no more proximal. Uh, pain along the flexor tendon, but he does have some localized uh, signs there. And as you can see, the digit is held in a passive uh, flexion again with pain on exten uh, extension of the finger. What, what do you think the uh, source of the infection is? Well, he's, he's had this little excoriation area right there. So maybe he may have, you know, picked at it or excoriated it and introduced some organism, likely, you know, staph or strep into the wound. Uh, in contrast with the felon that involves the distal pad, um, with maybe wounds to the distal pad, uh, the flexor tendon tenosynovitis involves from about the mid portion of the uh, middle phalanx down because there, there are two different compartments. You have the compartment of the uh, distal pad and pulp and then uh, approximately to that you have the flexor tendon sheet that uh, has the infection. Very good. All right. Thank you.